Hello, grade 8. For this week, I have an important announcement that you are going to the lab. You have a lab class, so please don't forget your lab coat because if you do, you will lose marks and you won't be able to attend the lab and to do the experiment with your classmates. So please do not forget your lab coat. For this week, we are going to start a new lesson, which is called chemical change. First of all, we are going to talk about physical change. Physical change is the terminology that describes the appearance or form of a substance. And we are going to watch videos and read the examples from the book. And then we are going to talk about chemical change, which is the main thing that you are going to talk about in this lesson. We are going to understand what is a chemical change, the difference between physical and chemical change, and how we can differentiate between the two terms. And then we are going to talk about the chemical bonds that form between two atoms and the reaction that happens uh, between these two atoms and what uh, part of chemical change are we going to discuss in this bond. And then we are going to watch for evidence that uh, help us uh, understand chemical change or we can see to prove that we have chemical change such as color change, gas production, and formation of a precipitate. And then we're going to understand the changes of energy and how does the flow of energy give us two different reactions. The first reaction is exothermic reaction and from its name it's exothermic so something is exiting the heat and the release of heat so this is called exothermic reaction we're going to understand what it is and give examples and the second type of reaction is the endothermic reaction these types of reactions they take or absorb in heat and then we're going to talk about uh, their examples and then we're going to look at energy graphs for both reactions, the exothermic and the endothermic graph. And then we're going to talk about what rates, what factors affects the rate of reaction. It's either surface area, we're going to talk about how surface area can affect the rate and the temperature and other factors such as concentration, catalyst, or inhibitors. Uh, these are the factors that affect the rate of the reaction of both exothermic and endothermic. During this week, we are going to watch a lot of videos, we are going to do a lot of fun interactivities, and we are going to assess our knowledge as usual by uh, doing online quizzes. And that is it for this week. I hope that this week will bring you knowledge and new ideas. If you ever need any help, uh, you know where to find me. Thank you so much, 8th grade.